Okay, in this episode, I'm going to talk about why I'm a millionaire with no car. So, I was walking around today, and I was just looking at cars, right? I was just looking around at cars because I'm a millionaire, but I don't have a car. I started thinking that. I was like, I was like, you know what? There's a stigma about people. It's like a certain stigma people have on you if you don't have a car. They'll look at you and be like, wow, this guy's walking. It's like, oh, hey, okay, he's walking. He's not really, like, dressed. Like, his socks are mismatched. Like, sometimes I wear my socks, like, mismatch because I don't, I just don't feel like matching them or, like, one batch wasn't, didn't match the other one. But it's like, you know, I go outside and I'm looking at these cars and I'm like, that car probably costs like 50000 or like 40000 right? Like a regular modern Chevrolet or something. And I'm like, look at that car. I'm like, it's just getting you from one point to the other. And like next year, if the computer's busted, the engine's made of plastic damn near. And it's on some rubber tires that's deteriorating. So I'm thinking, what is this, what is the value? There's no nostalgia in this. It's only A to B. Then I started thinking about like the old cars from like the 70s and the 60s and the 50s. And I was like, you know, these cars were made as nostalgic, as pieces of nostalgic art. So they're worth money because... They were made with what we call the rapper effect. Like I call, I like to call things the rapper effect, which like you can show it off. It's like it's nice, and it has that oh I want it now, and I just want to drive around, and like it's cool. Like it has the rapper effect, but the new cars nowadays they're just they're plastic. They don't they they're really not anything like. If unless you're talking about like a Porsche or a Lambro Lamborghini, or even like some BMWs, like high luxury, and even a lot of the luxury cars are like dumbing themselves down. And I was like, I was like, why do I have a stigma on me that I'm walking somewhere, but I'm making money, right? Like I have income coming in more than the average person. But I don't have a car, right? But someone with a Benz or something, they could come up to me. They can be like, I'm better than you because I have a Benz. You are a millionaire, but you have no car. It's like, you should get a car. Get a car. And I'm like, the reason I'm a millionaire is because I don't have a car. Like, my life story... I would if I if I had a car, right? I would not be a millionaire. If if I got a car, <clears throat> if I had a car, like when I was building all my stores, and I had money for Aspen, and I was going to school, like I was carless, like I would just go back and forth. I would take one course, all right, I'm done. I take another course. I build in my team, and then I learn web design. I kept reading. I learned copy, like I would like write out copy. This was like, this was like when copywriting was like, oh, you, this was like the old school copy. Like doing that shit nowadays is like stupid. I'm looking back and I was like, did I really learn anything? Like, like just writing. Because like when you're a copywriter, when you learn it, when you're going to school to be a copywriter, you have to actually write out, like take a pen and a long piece of paper and just write out copy. Like like a newspaper, like a copy of newspaper, a newspaper copy, and or a newsletter copy, and you just write it out, cause they're saying oh it trains your brain, but you gotta think like it's 2022, and copy is so different. Like if you look at a sales page from back in the days, like those old pages and things like that, it's like <laughs> it's like like wow, like I'm looking at that, I'm like man. I guess I I guess I learned a lot from that, but I feel I think like the best copy is like headlines, like well really no I'm not gonna say headlines, but yes those old pages 
they still work well because you're pretty much just answering all the parasitical questions. Like I like to call, like somebody's on the site and they're just browsing, like even as a parasite. And you're ask, answering their question. They're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they go to the money part and they're like, no, nah, never mind. <laughs> it's like it's like you want to answer all their questions while they're scrolling all the way to the bottom because they know that they don't have the money, but they're just looking for the price. They're going right to the price, but you're answering their questions along the way while they're scrolling down to the price. That's pretty much like the copy, the landing page copy of this of this day. It's like no creativity, just what works, just answering questions. It's pretty much getting rid of the the questions that they have. Oh, how much is it? What does it do? Without overly confusing people. That's pretty much what copy is now. It's like simplifying but getting to the point as fast as possible. That's it. Like because you got people you got like, man, TikTok. TikTok is really ruining brains. It's fixing brains, training new brains. I don't really like to say ruining brains nowadays. I just like to say fix it's molding new brains. Like it's molding new brains. But y'all know me, I don't I don't even I don't even uh I'm not even big on TikTok with e commerce. But some people love it. Like I seen, like we talk about the guy who made a million a day with TikTok. Like to, from my experience, it's just I wouldn't like if an agency told me, oh, we we do TikTok marketing for e-commerce, and they're asking for like, like let's say they their price was like twenty five thousand, right, for TikTok marketing. I was like, huh. I'll be like, why don't you just get a sales team, or why don't you just do Facebook and Google? Why would you do TikTok? Like, yeah. TikTok would be like fourth or even like fifth or sixth on my block on what I would do. Like, I wouldn't go right to TikTok. Because, because look what comes with TikTok. You got to have, you got to have visuals. You, and then you have to have like, even if you're organic, it's like, I just, um, and then it's geo-targeted. Like, it's it's gonna switch to where you are, like if like say your business is in, you started your business in like Seattle, and you want to fly to like Mexico, so now you're dropping all these products and you got all these broke Hispanic people. No offense, but I'm just saying, you got all these broke Mexican people on your TikTok now because you 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 moved to a different location. But that's, I mean, if you're playing ads, yeah, but I'm staying still like I'm guess, but I'm saying TikTok, that's how it works. It's geo is geo focused and you still need like hella content. Like you need a lot of content. Like, yeah, I guess, I guess if you're, if you're branded a product that you have, but I'm talking about like, I'm talking about like. Starting a Shopify store, like you're trying to, you're trying to start and and go fast. Like I'm up now. Let's put money in and let's make more money. Like not like let me invest in UGC. Let me get like a hundred or two hundred product videos and throw them up on TikTok and get organic. But now you done done that. So let's just say, let's just say you dropped. Let's say you drop, let's say you spend five, 10, let's say you spend 10, $5,000 on videos for your product on TikTok. So you just spend five grand on just videos. Now you posted three videos on TikTok. Now you're banned. Now what? <laughs> now what? You read advertisements on TikTok and they're like, oh no, you're banned on TikTok. Now what you're going to do? Because they're going to know that you, if you come back with another video, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, we, we've we seen it. Like, TikTok is smart. They know they know if you made a new page and you're trying to drop new videos. Like, that's how it works. So you're, gonna, you're just going to be banned again. That's what I would say. Like, 
I wouldn't jump right. Like people think that like somebody will get a lot of views on TikTok and be like, I should sell on TikTok. Like, no, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> like you're you're not a a a twenty year old girl twerking on TikTok. You're trying to sell products. Like you can't just hit a button and get a thousand views and expect to make money. Like, no, you you have to put in the work if you're gonna do TikTok. Like it's still work. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I was saying, like, why wouldn't why wouldn't you just go to Facebook or Google and just build a formula on that and then just get a sales team? I, I went completely off the wall from this topic, but back to cars. So cars like with cars, look how much money you save. So you're making money, right? So you you're in a big position to pivot. Like you don't, your gas expense, you don't have a gas expense. You're not worrying about like stopping at a sitting at a red light all day or stopping at a red light. You're not worrying about wrecking. You're not worried about like some insurance. Like you're just sitting there making money. Like even if you Uber across the whole town, like how much would that be? Like you're just chilling. You're still making money. You're just sitting in the back of a, you can just sit in the back of like a Rolls Royce or something and you're just sitting there making money. That's it. Like you don't. Like, yeah, I'm moving around, but it's like, I don't have to make, I don't have decision fatigue. I guess that's what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Because if you're doing so many things, then your brain is going to get tired. So you're leveraging your brain power to make more money and you're, you're lowering your risk. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, that's why I don't really care about a car. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I would. A car is cool to me, but when I look at a car, I'm like, okay, I have to get in the car. I have to drive it. I have to make sure everything is good. It's, everything is fixed. Nothing breaks. <laughs> I know people watch, listen to this. They're like, this guy's crazy. But this is, I mean, that's what it is. This is called no... The reason I don't have a car. And then it's like, you're making money. It's like, okay, I could get, I could rent a car. Or I could just rent a driver, right? Or I could just jump on a plane, jump on a private plane and just be like, I'm just going to go here. And when I get there, I don't need, I don't have to drive around in a car. I don't know. I guess my brain is just how it, this is just how my brain is trained. Tra- uh, trained. It's like I'm always trained to pivot. I'm always trained to pivot. But if I'm in a car, it's like, oh, this just happened. Now I got a car. Oh, oh, I gotta go to I gotta go to Barcelona or something. Now I gotta sell this car or something. I don't know. I'm just. <laughs> I think I I think I kind of ruined myself. With cars, like I just, I just don't like them. I mean, I love cars. It's just, I don't know. Like I just, that's this episode. This is why I don't have a car. <laughs> I don't have a car at all. Like I feel like, like everything is moving so fast that. Like if you just if you just taking in information if you're learning new things, like to me that's more valuable than a car, because that's gonna ten x what you unless you know a lot about cars of course, then it's it's great. Like I know some people who make a lot of money like on tour like renting out cars. I could I could never do that. I could never do that. Like to rent out a car to somebody, man, that's a lot of trust that you're putting into people. But yeah, that's that's why this is why I don't have a car as a millionaire. As a millionaire, I think I'm gonna make a part. This is gonna be a series. This is gonna be a series. Like I'm gonna document like how I make money on my phone when I don't have a car. <laughs>